Good morning, folks. We've taken a look at star water in our solar system and throughout the galaxy, potentially to exoplanets that may be suitable for life. One we looked at in the series was Galice 1214b, as it had water vapor spectral emission lines, but we're now beginning to image cloud structures in the atmospheres of those distant planets. It's a great article on that. February 1st, the finale of Star Water will demonstrate what they're likely to find everywhere, as it's all a matter of chemistry, whether it's Earth in our system or some exotic exo-world. Whipping to the weather watch with the world wind map, we're starting way south into the Americas looking at a strong convergence. Tilting across the Pacific, I the power storm here now at New Zealand. It's in cahoots with the Antarctic storm that's trapped the ship down there. All Tropic Watch indications say this is the area of focus this week. Let's come to Madagascar where the cyclone is now in full swing. NASA and JAXA's Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission put out a beautiful slice animation of the storm before it began having major effects. Also got a sister system of much less power, top Africa at the moment. Let's bounce up north and look at Europe. There are sporadic flood watches and storm warnings along the convergence which is still cresting and uncurling on the continent. Coming last to North America, you see a dip down across the central states meeting a northeastern drive across Florida and the east coast. It's where the heaviest snow will be and we also have precipitation likelihoods on the west coast. Had a near X-class solar flare, an M9.9 yesterday from that same delta spot we've been eyeing. Again though, no major CME as most of the plasma fell back. The ejecta visible on cactus is minor only. After the M9, your focus should shift to the incoming spots on the left, where an M1 occurred just a few hours ago. Let's look at all the sunspots here actually. The departing group is a major flare risk, not for Earth-directed CMEs, but for the proton storm potential at the western limb. Incoming sunspots are diabolical, Beta Gamma Delta and Zurich Class F. This will test the magnetic weakening patterns we've seen for two years. Current northern incomers have a negative lead and are not indicative of the next cycle's magnetics. We are in the coronal hole stream as I speak this morning, got here about 12 hours early with maintained density. It's causing a bit of geomagnetic instability. It's continuing but only at moderate levels and electrons are rising near Earth. Our watch score was very high yesterday, 6.6 .6 ripped under Vanuatu, deep enough to preclude horrible surface consequences. We also saw an above average reading on the Cali coastline. We've discussed and looked forward to these conjunctions for weeks. They are holding the watch above water with the space weather while we sit between coronal holes for a few days. Watch score today is B+. Catch the releasing filaments and combine Lasco shots of the ejecta. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.